Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. The IAM and Lockheed Martin's relationship dates back to the 1930s. And since then, the two organizations have demonstrated to the world that they know how to ensure progress at a bargaining table. The machinists intend to maintain that progress and not diminish all that's been accomplished by both sides over the years. According to the machinist, there's a huge pride that comes from working at Lockheed Martin. There's not too many workers that can go to work every day and say they contribute to democracy around the world. One thing I remember hearing politicians say uh, uh, in Washington, D.C. or elsewhere, uh, it's hard to tell the difference from a, a Lockheed uh, person, a company person, and, or a machinist union member when they come to the Hill to lobby for the jobs and the projects. Defense jobs, defense products, uh, American-made products built by Americans. That's what's uh, most important and that they're truly proud of. But unfortunately, pride alone won't take care of the workers and their families. That's why for the IAM, this negotiation, which began on February 21st, is about taking steps forward, not backward, to protect the nearly 7,000 machinists who will be affected by the outcome. Lockheed Martin has a logo that they use, and it says that they always remember who they're working for. They must, must remember who is working for them, too, and take care of those people who's working for them. Their workforce is their greatest asset. There are three issues tipping the scales at this table, all of which the machinists believe are worth the fight. Maintaining choice and cost when it comes to health care for the workers and their families keeping intact the defined benefit pension plan for current workers and new hires, and making sure job security is a priority for all. A good contract will let this dedicated workforce know that Lockheed acknowledges their role in the success of the company. They seem to be able to budget all their golden parachutes. They're able to budget all their buyouts. They can budget everything that's important to them. Their employees should be important to them also. This is the time to draw the line. This, this company doesn't know our resolve. I've met with these negotiating committees. I've met with the leaders of the locals. And their resolve is strong. Now it's the members' jobs to make sure they hold the line in the shop. As always, the final decision is in the hands of the workers back on the shop floors in places like Marietta, Sunnyvale, and Palmdale. They are the ones who will decide whether Lockheed's best and final offer is the key to a better future. Whether we get there successfully on March 6th is entirely up to you. It's not up to us. You will be giving us a proposal to take back to our membership to either accept or reject. You will know the day you give it to us whether it's going to be substantive enough for us to accept it or it's going to be adverse enough for us to reject it. Because the strength of our union is derived from the members. And the reason our members are so loyal is because they get to vote on the final package. So on March 6, their fate is in their hands. And in my mind, as long as they're happy, it's successful. And that success will be watched by all in aerospace who wonder what the future holds. These two players, the Machinist and Lockheed, have set the path before and many say they will do so again for the future. These uh, negotiations are going to be very, very critical negotiations. Uh, a lot of folks uh, are counting on what these uh, two sides are going to produce at the end of the day. And uh, it'll be our job collectively to uh, come out of these negotiations with a good economic package, but a security package that talks about we're going to be someplace else three years from now. We're going to be in a different place, and we're growing, and we're being positive. In the end, this bargaining unit will do what the members ask of it. Protect what it has accomplished up to this point, and work with the company for a contract that recognizes the current workers and future generations for years of dedication and loyalty by giving them a chance to achieve the American dream. We didn't come here, I assure you, looking for a fight. But I will assure you, we will not back away from one if it's necessary. Negotiations are expected to last until March 6th. 
For updates and daily news, you can log on to goiam.org slash IAMready. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Machinist News Network.